What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 50 minute arms and leg strength workout. So grab your heavy dumbbells and let's get to work. What's up guys, so excited that you're here for our 50 minute workout today. We're working on our strength today, arms and legs, and we'll combine the two as well. So we're using dumbbells, eight pounds, 10 pounds, 15, and 20 are what I have. I go down to the lower pounds and eights because we're gonna be doing things like lateral raises, and then I'm bumping up to, up to the 20s. We're doing things like shoulder press, hammer curls, bent over rows. So grab a variety of weights, kind of your medium to heavy end of the spectrum, and that should suit you just fine, all right? Make sure also you have some water and a sweat towel and we will jump right into our warm up before you head out today. Make sure you check out that summertime find challenge. We are rolling week by week. Today can be your day one for the best 12 weeks of your life in terms of fitness and nutrition leading right into summer. So make sure you check that out. We are rocking in there. People are losing weight, they're losing inches, they're gaining strength, they're gaining muscle. Whatever your goals are, we're working on it and we're gonna hit those goals for you in the next 12 weeks, okay? So make sure you check it out. Today can be your day one. All right, let's go ahead and rock right into the warm up. Start with big backwards arm circles in three, two, one, let's do it. Good, reach up with those fingertips. And cross your arms over your body. Good, let's open up the chest. We're starting with a curl and press movement today. So let's really open up the chest, the shoulders. Good, and let's go forward circles now. Soft little bend in the knee will keep your lower back from arching. There you go. All right, let's take that left hand, pull it over, and then back to the center, okay? Reach and back. Good, you should feel it all down your tricep in your shoulder, in your ribs a little bit. Good, good. Wake up the abs a little bit as we require them to pull you back to the middle here. You're isolating one side at a time again this week, so just know your core's gotta be focused on your balance. And go ahead and switch. All right, so we're focusing on isolating unilateral movements. Okay, so one direction or one limb at a time going all back to the core. Okay, the core and the foundation of your workouts are balance, core strength, and overall body strength. All right, let's move down into single leg butt kicks. Kick and kick and kick. Here we go. Get the legs warmed up. This will be a low impact workout as well, so if you can't jump or anything right now, this will be perfect for you. Okay, tomorrow we'll step it up into some cardio, but again, I always provide modifications on this channel, so don't ever think you're gonna come into a workout not knowing how to dial it back if you need to, and also not knowing how to step it up if you need to. All right, knee to the chest, up and up. Good, work the arms as well. Good job. Drive, drive, drive. Let's go for three, two, one, and come on back to the back of your mat. Hamstring, high kicks. Whew, anyone else tight there? <laughs> I'm definitely tight there and I'm almost tripping. So pull that toe right back to your face. Good, let's go one more each leg here. And good, give me a nice wide stance. We're gonna sink down, shifting your hips side to side in a low squat. There we go, good. Open up your hips here, stretch your inner thighs. Good, good, now tap the floor for me and stand up. Let's go five body weight squats, okay? Tap, stand. When you get to five, throw your hands on your hips and point your toes forward. Let's hinge and squeeze. Wake up the glutes. Again, stretch the hamstrings a little bit. Sometimes you need to stretch more than you realize when you start doing a stretch for that muscle. You're like, oh, hello. That was my hamstrings today for me. 
Reach and squeeze. All right, guys, we're gonna get right into it. Our very first move is a kneeling curl and press. I'm gonna start with my left arm, okay? So let's come on down, hands and knees, okay? We're gonna go curl and press just the left arm, okay? So grab your weight. Let's go in two, one. Here we go. Balance stance, curl, press. And I want you to stop right beside your quad, okay? Make sure you're not swinging back. Also make sure you're not curling with the chest, rocking back and forth. Keep it nice and tall and press. Curl, drive that hand up to the ceiling. Got you here in this kind of unbalanced stance so you can work on your core, okay? One leg is in the front, one leg is in the back. Make sure you're separating them so they're about hip width apart. Good, you got five seconds and then we're gonna switch over to the other arm. And rest. All right, let's switch it over to the other arm. I'm gonna face forward with you this time so you'll notice my feet hip width apart not straight in front of each other, right? <laughs> so you'll fall over that way. They have to be nice and balanced. Ready? Let's go round two. Another thing I wanna point out to you is your elbow angle. Okay, a lot of times when we try to overcompensate, we'll have our elbow out here. Try to use our shoulder a little bit. Okay, keep that elbow tight during the entire curl. If you feel it flaring out, you might need to drop the weight. We're just slow it down and really focus. Get your core, challenge your body not to dip on the side. Five seconds and we'll switch back for one more round of both. And rest, good. Now, if you can bump up and wait, let's do it. I'm gonna do the same thing. All right, left arm first. Your balance stance here. Three, two, one. Let's go. Curl, press. And have your hand on your hip or out to the side. Good. Keep pulling, keep pulling. Here you go, 15 more seconds, and we'll switch arms for the last time. Good job, seven, six, two, one. All right, let's switch it back over to the other arm. Try to make sure these weights are even as well. Okay, so if you have an arm that you know is stronger, challenge the other arm to keep up with this arm, okay? Two, one, let's go. See, oftentimes people ask me about one leg or one arm being stronger so they'll drop weight on the side that isn't as strong. That's just prolonging that imbalance or increasing the severity of the imbalance. Okay, so go with a weight that you can handle safely with both sides and progress from there. I'd rather have you balanced then have that imbalance increase. Here we go. Come on, keep pressing. You got seven seconds. Good, good. Two, one, and rest. Now let's switch that dumbbell over to the other arm. Okay, so I'm going back. Left arm, take that dumbbell up overhead and give me a nice wide split stance. We're gonna go down, lunge and stand, okay? If you need to modify, bring the dumbbell right down to your chest or back down to your side. Ready? Here we go. You'll notice how far apart my feet are, right? Front leg is right, dumbbell hand is left. Sink that back knee back to the floor and I want you to press into both shoes or both feet, if you're not wearing shoes, into the floor. Keep your core tight. 
Keep that bicep really close to your ear on that arm that's overhead. Good job, rest. All right, let's switch sides. So what I'm saying with the arm that's overhead, keep it close here. Don't let it flare out to the side. Nice and close, let your shoulder stabilize for you. Other side, two, one, let's go. Sink it and press into both shoes or both feet. If you can't get down to the floor, go as low as you can. If you don't feel balanced here, bring that dumbbell to your chest. That helps a lot. Almost there. Got about eight seconds left. Come on, keep pressing. And rest, good. All right, let's switch it back to the other side here. Go up and wait if you feel comfortable. Okay, left arm has the dumbbell, right leg is out front. Ready? Let's go, sink it down. If your legs are too close, you will not be able to get down to the floor. So scoot it back. It's better to be too far apart and then be able to scoot up than to be too close and kind of collapse onto your toes, right? Almost there, 15 seconds. Keep that core tight. Keep your arm close to your head. Press, 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 come on. We got it. Keep your knee out in front. Don't let it cross in towards the middle of your body. And rest. Couple seconds over there, sorry. Last round on this side, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Let's go, last round of these overhead lunges. My best tip for you is to find a spot on the wall, stare at it, and let's go. Belly tight, arm is straight, press in both feet. Everything is about the balance. Come on, we're right there. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Dumbbell down, guys. All right, so next move, we're gonna combine the last two moves. So dumbbell in your left hand, right leg is out front, okay? We're gonna curl, press, and then sink to the floor, all right? Ready, let's go. So curl, press, drop into a lunge. Curl, press, drop into that lunge. Okay, if you need to modify, do your lunge and then stick the curl and press up top, then come back down with your dumbbell, okay? All right, here we go. Combining those two. Keep the core tight, don't swing. Great job. Chest up. Five more seconds. Can you give me one more rep here? Two, one, rest. All right, let's switch it to the other side. Hey, you guys doing okay with that move? I'll show you, I'll keep it on this side so you can see. All right, complete the curl press and then drop into your lunge. Ready? Three, two, one, let's do it. Curl, press, sink it down. See how everything kind of works together here? We work on one side at a time. Core's drawn in. Let's go, you're strong. There we go, you've got it, let's go. Pull, punch, big push into the ground. 
Almost there, six seconds. And then we'll switch back to the other side. And rest, good. Okay, other side, you doing okay? Same thing, we're combining the two. Give me that big wide stance, we'll complete the upper body move first. That's it, three, two, one. Curl, press, sink it to the floor. Take your time here, there's no need to rush. I'd rather you go heavy, stay balanced, challenge your core and your arms and your legs. Don't swing that dumbbell, control it. Let's go, push, push, push. One round here, one round on the other leg. Good, 10 seconds, come on. Last round here on the left arm. Push, push, push. Rest, all right. Switch it back to the other side. Last round on this arm. Last round of this exercise, actually. And then we're moving on. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Curl, press, drop it. Don't let your arm venture away from your body. It helps so much. If you get to your top of your press, your dumbbell's right over your head. And you can just sink right down to the floor. Come on. There we go, come on, work it. Fifteen seconds. Whoops. We're right there, three, two, one, rest. Nice work, now we're dropping it down to a lighter weight. Okay, left arm first. Front raise and side raise, this is it. Okay, front and side. Left arm, three, two, one. Let's go ahead. <clears throat> Make sure you don't swing again. This is easy. This front and side raise, very easy to swing. Don't let yourself. If you move that dumbbell slower, that's a sure sign that you're in control on the way up and on the way down. Good, don't let your hips shift. You're right there. Here we go. Seven, six, you're doing great. Three, two, last one. Rest, all right, same thing on the other side. I know you just used your shoulders, so if you're at your lighter weight right now, that's okay. This is an isolation move, okay? I like to keep my feet about hip width or a little wider apart. Two, one, let's go. So I know for sure that I'm controlling the weight all the way down. I like to stop the weight before it gets to my leg. Talked a lot about eccentric and concentric movements. So the fact that you're lifting on the way up and you're controlled lowering on the way down, both parts of the movement are equal in importance. Good job, 15 more seconds here. We'll switch back to the other arm. That's it, three, two, one, rest. All right, here's your option. If you wanna bump it up, go for it. If you feel yourself bobbing and weaving, drop the weight down, okay? Your chance, five seconds, and we're gonna go last round of each, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Place your hand right here on your hips. Feel that core staying tight with me. If you feel your hip moving around, you know your core's not entirely tight. Good, let's go, let's go. Push through the burn. We're getting stronger today, guys. Beautiful, 20 seconds. Breathe. Good. 
Beautiful, you got four, three, two, one, rest. All right, last round, isolation on the other side. And then we're gonna move into a lateral lunge. Stationary, okay, I want you to get this motion down. Last round here, front raise, side raise. Four, three, two, let's go to the front. Control it, everyone wants those nice rounded shoulders, right? Looks so good, nice strong frame. I think a nice rounded shoulder just frames your body, lets people know you work hard. Good job, abs are tight, keep it centered. Let the arm do the work. That's it, 15 more seconds. Then we're giving your arms a break. Good work, 10. Three, two, one, rest. Now, I want you to grab a medium to heavy, so a little bit heavier. Okay, dumbbell. Big, big, big wide stance. Notice how wide I am? Dumbbell is here in front. You're sinking lateral lunge inside your toe, only to the left. Ready, let's go. Here and up. Shoot your butt back first, weight is in your heels, then sit into this squat on this side. Just like you're squatting. If you can't go as low yet, that's okay. Master the position, okay? So from the side, I want you feeling like you're in a squat, not here. Backwards and down. Shift your weight into this heel. Also, keep your knee out. The knee that we're squatting into on the side, keep it out right over your second toe. Take your time, too. Back is flat. You can lean forward a little bit as long as your back stays flat. Rest. Switching over to the other side. Here we go. Three, two, one. To the right, let's go. Now if you feel good, you can speed it up. You can bring your dumbbell to your chest so you can sit a little lower. Okay, that's also an option. It's kind of a misconception that you have to have a nice straight back and sitting down into this lateral lunge. You're gonna lean forward a little bit. As long as your back isn't rounded like a big C, then you're okay. Core is in control. Sit, 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 push into that heel. The minute you push into your heel, you're gonna feel your glute activate. That's what we want. Three, two, one, rest. We've got one more round on the other side. There we go. You're doing great. Back is flat, it's okay to lean as long as you're not rounded. Three, two, one, let's go. Also, get as wide as you can with those legs. If you don't feel comfortable at your chest, go here. More preferably here, okay? It's your workout. Let's go, work hard. Sink, 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 come on. Dig the heel down, you'll feel it. 10 more seconds, come on. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Other side, 15 seconds rest. Whew. One more round and then we're gonna combine those front raise, side raises and lateral lunge. So we're back to the lighter dumbbells after this round. Three, two, one, let's go. Sit in your heel, push your butt backwards. Notice at the bottom here, my butt is back. Back is flat and I have a little forward lean, that's okay. Okay, core is tight. Come on, we're right there. 10 more seconds. Good, four, 
two, one. Grab your lighter dumbbells, guys. We're going just to the right first, okay? So, going to the right. You've got your lateral raise at the top. Sink it down, front raise. Lateral raise at the top. Sink it down, front raise. Ready? Let's go. I'm gonna go out to the side. Hands are facing each other. When I come down, just lifting, thumbs up. Press. If you need to modify this, complete your lunge, and then do front raise, then side raise at the top, and then go into your lunge, okay? Good, we got it, seven seconds. Two, one, rest. All right, same thing on the other side. Keep that core tight. Even at the bottom, when you're lifting, don't let your back round, okay? Keep it tight, right here. Four, three, let's start with the lateral raise at the top, to the right, here we go. Lateral, sit it down, lift. Like I said, if you need to modify, do the front and the side at the top. And then sink into that squat. Good job, let's go. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, rest. Whew. That's a tough one. We got one more round of each, and then we're moving on to just strict bicep curls, okay? Ah, we're doing great. Here we go. Last round of each. You've got it. You okay? All right, let's go. Lateral, sit it down. Either come right back up and do the raise, or do the raise at the bottom. Come on, you can do it. Deep breath, you hear me breathing nice and deep? You've gotta do the same. This will be your toughest move all day, I promise. We got this, you got the rest of the workout. Woo. Here we go, five seconds. Can you give me one more complete rep? Three, two, one, nice. 15 seconds, we're going to the other side. One last round. Here we go, five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's start at the top. <sighs> Sit, abs are tight, push back up. <sighs> Sit, lift, big push, there we go. Come on, we got it. <sighs> Good. I'm right here with you. Fifth, or 10 more seconds, sorry. 10, nine, push, come on. Three, two, one, right arm only, bicep curls. We're switching here, so just a hammer curl in the first round. Arms are facing, or hands are facing your thighs, right here, okay? Two, one, Let's go, keep this elbow tight. Just the bicep here. Okay, make sure your elbow stays right there. Shoulders back. Same thing here with the elbow, keep it tight. If you're going out here, that's not a curl, that's kind of like a clean, <laughs> okay? Which is fine, but now you know. Keep it tight. Only thing you're doing is bending your elbow. Squeezing that bend as tight as you can. Five seconds. 
Come on. Rest. Whew. Good. Same thing on the other side. Hammer curl style. Second round through, we're going to switch it to open face, regular, what you know as regular bicep curls. Okay. Two, one, let's go. Hammer and relax. Stopping at the leg. Keep the elbow here. If you look over at me really quick, common mistake on the way down, people letting their elbow shift back. Keep it here on the way up and on the way down. Core tight, don't let your back arch. Nice, tall posture. Beautiful, come on. We're right there, seven, six, three, two, one, rest. Now, back to the other arm, keep the palm facing forward. So you're coming right up to your chest, right back down. Again, elbow stays here. You're not coming here, elbow away. Keep it here. Three, two, one, let's go. Unfold, curl right back in. Okay, a lot of times people think they have to get their dumbbell all the way up here to the shoulder. Just keep it right here. Make it like rainbow arching from your leg to your chest. When you pull that shoulder back, it'll get a little bit tougher. Keep it back. That really helps to make sure you're not using the shoulder to curl, right? Keep it back. Right there, seven seconds. Two, one, rest. Okay, last round on the other side. And then we're gonna drop right into sumo squats. So you can grab your two heavy dumbbells. We're just gonna go sumo squats right after this, okay? One last round on the right arm. Two, one, let's go. Elbow in front of your hip, pull, control down. Shoulder, back. Think of this as like your Superman stance, right? Feet are grounded, chest is open, shoulders back, like you're proud of who you are. And then pull that dumbbell right to your chest. There we go. That's great. Arms are about to get a rest. 15 more seconds. Shoulder back. Two, one, rest. Grab your two heavy dumbbells for me. Let's get some leg strength going here. Sumo stance, so that just means you're wide. Doesn't mean your toes have to point out, okay? Wide stance, if it feels better for your toes to be a little bit out, go there, okay? Dumbbells in front, two, one. You're just sitting and pressing, okay? Nothing with your arms, just sit and stand. Good. Same thing as the lateral lunge. Your weight is going back into your heels first. Good. 15 seconds. If you're like me, your palms are really sweaty right now. It's okay. Hang on just a little bit more. We've got about seven seconds. Push into those heels. Let's go. Three, two, one, rest. All right, stretch your forearms out. If you need to, pull the fingertips back to the elbow. Great job. If you need to, if you can't hold on, just throw your dumbbells right at your chest here, okay? Ready, round two, let's go. So if that's you, you wanna throw them here, that's cool. Just sit, keep those feet nice and wide. Make sure your chest stays up on this one. It's a little bit different here. If you're good holding them here, stay right here. Either way, your arms are just kind of relaxed. Focus on the quads. Focus on the glutes. Good job. 10 seconds, keep your knees out at the bottom. All the way up and down. Five, four, three, 
two, one, rest. Now let's go down to your medium light dumbbells. Sumo squat with a curl at the bottom. So keep the same sumo stance here. Whatever was comfortable for you, down, curl, and stand. If you need to modify, curl at the top, and then sit. Ready? Let's go. Complete the whole curl, and then stand. Breathing wise, breathe in before you go down, fill your belly up, sit, keep it in, exhale as you push up. Five seconds. Rest, good. What that does when you breathe in before you go down, if you watch my belly, breathe in, this braces the core. So it's a lot harder with a full belly of breath to round that lower back, okay? Two, one, let's breathe in. There you go. Good job. Last round of these guys, come on. You're doing great. You're right there, come on. Seven, six, whew. two, one, and beautiful. All right, left arm with the dumbbell. We're going bent row, high row. Okay, so from the side. Hinge, bent row, stand, high row. Okay, bent row, high row. Ready? Let's go. Bent row first. Hinge, pull back towards your hip bone. Stand, pull outside your shoulder. Isolate the two, okay? You don't have to make it here and here. All right? Bent, stand, high. Okay, keep that hinge going. Ten more seconds, and we'll switch arms. Four, three, two, one, rest. All right, switch hands. You can relax your hands. Your fingertips are super tired. Another thing that can help is Lifting gloves, okay, the short fingered ones, so you still have grip tension. They cut off kind of right here at the top of your finger. Two, one, let's go with the other hand. Just a tip if you're looking for one. And your grip strength will get stronger, by the way. Just something you gotta work on, just like any other muscle. Muscles in your hands have to get stronger. that breathing going. Doing fantastic, we're almost there. Notice how you're isolated here. Up top you're rowing high. In the hinge, you're rowing low, okay? You're right there. Three, two, one, beautiful. Rest those hands one more time each. Bent and high on the left, bent high on the right, and then we'll combine the two. And we'll combine the two with a leg move. You'll see. <laughs> two, one, same thing. Back to the left arm. High row, hinge it, bent row. Try not to squeeze the crap out of the dumbbell, but more so just make a hook formation with your hand. Okay? Your fingers are kind of bent like this. Your body's not just gonna tell them let go, right? I did that a lot when I was first learning how to use a TRX. If anyone has used a TRX, the black and yellow straps. When I first started, I was squeezing the crap out of the strap. The instructor told me, ease your grip a little bit. You're not gonna let yourself fall. Just have the hook grip. Okay, so try to have that same mentality with your dumbbell. Just hook it. 
two, one, rest. Okay, one more round on the other side. You guys doing all right? Thumbs up if yes, or one thumb up if you're holding a dumbbell. <laughs> we got it, here we go. Five seconds, last round, bent row, high row only. Two, one, let's go. We're so close to the end, keep working hard for me. You want this strength, right? You want these muscles, right? Let's go. I'm sure I don't have to mention the core here, and I've been saying it all day, but core is used a lot in this one. As you pull up and out here, your body has to keep you centered. As you hinge forward, your abs have to keep your lower back from rounding, using that core all day. That's it, come on. 10 more seconds. Five, four, two, one, rest. Now, I want you to grab your heavier dumbbells. We're gonna go for a staggered stance, Romanian deadlift. Okay, right leg is out front, left toe directly behind the heel, and then move it to the side about six inches. You're gliding down the side of your legs and back up. Ready? Let's go. Set the butt back and squeeze it forward. So notice my feet are not lunge width apart, right behind that other leg. I'm staying on the sides here so I can really keep my shoulders tight. Keep your lats drawn in. Here we go, three, two, one. Drop your dumbbells down. Same thing, just switching legs. So, literally hip width apart. Keep them about four inches behind each other, okay? Other leg back, last round through deadlift only. Let's go, keep it to the sides of your legs. Okay, I find it's a lot easier to set your butt back when the dumbbells are beside you. Push the butt back, squeeze the butt forward. That's all it is, back and forth. Not up and down, back and forward. Shoulder blades tight, so you're not bending over. Your butt's just going back. Don't reach for the floor. Reach for that back wall behind your booty. Five seconds, here we go. And rest. All right, you know what's coming. Combo move. Drop down to your lighter, medium dumbbells. Okay, switch back to the right leg in front, left foot back. You're gonna go back with your hips. Row, stand up, high row. Okay, ready? Let's go. Sink your hips back to the bottom. Row at the bottom, squeeze back forward, row at the top. Here we go. That's too light for you. Bump it up, I just want you to get the movement first. Okay. Keep the core tight, come on. That's it, you're strong, we're gonna finish strong, let's go. 10 seconds. All that you're doing now, switching your feet, okay? This is it, you're doing great. Here we go, switch back to the other side. Same thing, three, two, one, let's go. From the front here, rowing back to my hips. As I come to the top, rowing right outside the top of my chest, okay? Squeeze that booty. Come on, you got it. We've got a little burnout exercise after this. One combo exercise for two rounds. It's not a burpee, so don't worry. <laughs> Come on, keep squeezing those shoulder blades. Yes, there we go. Five seconds. 
two, one, rest. Amazing job. Two rounds of one move. Okay, I'll show you the move. You can pick your dumbbell. Come up onto your toes. Lift it. Tricep extension. Calves and triceps. You're staying on your toes the whole time. Ready? Let's go. I've got my 15 here, kind of a, in the middle of the weights that I got today. Abs are tight. Focus on a spot. Good, pull those abs in. Keep the heels lifted. Focus. Five, four, two, one, rest. Whew. All right, one more round. If you think you can't last with that dumbbell, drop it down. I want you to last the whole 45, okay? Here we go, five seconds. Lift your dumbbell, shift it just a little bit behind your head, and lift the heels, let's go. Keep that dumbbell back behind your ponytail. Notice even when I come up, I'm a little bit behind my head. So I've got that extension in my shoulder joint with control, of course. Come on, this is it. Elbows are tight and close. 15 seconds, keep the heels up. Keep the abs in. Keep that dumbbell just a little bit behind your head. Come on, five, four, three, two, one. And rest, and we have made it, guys. Oh, anyone else totally on fire right now? Ah. <laughs> okay, we've got a nice long four minute cool down, so grab some water if you need it and have a seat. Okay, don't leave yet. This time, cool down is built into your workout. All right, legs out straight first. Hands behind your hips first. I want you to breathe in and fill your lungs up around your chest. Exhale, let it relax. Two more times, big deep breath in, open your chest. Lift your chin. Exhale, let it collapse. Let's go one more time. Big deep breath in, lift your chin. Exhale and reach out towards your feet. It's okay if your back rounds here. Really force your chest like you're pushing out to your toes. Push, push, push forward. Like you're trying to get your chin to touch your toes. Or your forehead to touch your toes. Relax, come on up. Shake it out. We're gonna go down one more time and I want you to go a little deeper, okay? Big deep breath in. Exhale, go. Reach, 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 come on. Great job, bring your soles of your shoes in together. All right, so they're touching. Grab onto them, pull your head down first. Let's open up the hips a little. So force your knees down, pulling your toes towards your chest, force your chest forward. You probably feel it right here in your legs and your hips. Okay, that's great, that's where we wanna feel it. I definitely feel it there. And if you're tight here in your hips and your lower back, I posted a stretch video yesterday, just 20 minutes, all for the hips and lower back. So if this is tough for you, I'm gonna put the link to that video at the end of this one, or you can just go back to my recent uploads, the one I posted yesterday. You really need to do that, okay? Flip it over onto your chest. Let's lay down flat first, okay? If you can, bend your legs, grab onto the top of your feet, pull your heels down to your glutes. Okay, and then try to lift your knees up. If you can, if not, if this is comfortable here, stay right here. If you need a little deeper stretch, pull your heels in, lift those heel or lift the knees. And relax, hands under your shoulders, press it up, 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 up. Good job. If this is too much for you right now, drop to your elbows. Just open that chest up. 
And if this is too much for you, again, back to that stretch yesterday. You need to get those hips and that lower back loosened up. It's only gonna help you. It's 20 minutes. Chances are you've got 20 free minutes in your day to spare for that stretch. So do it even a couple times this week, guys. Really, we sit so much. We've gotta loosen those areas up. Shift your weight up, left leg up top, right outside your left hand. Drop the back knee down to the floor and I want you to really press those hips down towards the floor as you open up left arm. Same arm as your front leg. And drop it back down. Straighten both legs now. Good, so your legs are nice and wide. Hamstring in the front leg, right? Feel it here? All right, swing that leg back. And let's switch over. Right leg up beside your right hand. Drop the back knee down. Force your hips into the floor as you open up that right arm. You did great today, guys. I want you to really value your nutrition this week. Take it seriously. Bring your hand back to the mat. Lift your hips up. Straighten both legs. That is going to be the biggest part of your transformation of any results that you want to see. What you eat. Okay. Swing your legs back together so you're in down dog. Walk your hands back to your feet and as you walk them back, press your heels to the floor. Bend your legs just a little bit and roll up. And we have made it. Seriously, your goal this week, nutrition. Mission, nutrition, okay? If you accept the challenge to really dial it in, I want you to comment in the comments below. I accept mission, nutrition, okay? Fuel your body with what you need. Stop starving it. It needs food, okay? Feed it the right foods. Plenty of protein, plenty of water. Get your complex carbohydrates in. Get your fats in. Get all of the food in that you know fuels your body, okay? If you accept, I want you to comment mission, nutrition, and we're gonna rock it together. I'm rocking just as hard as you. Watch my Instagram stories this week. I'm gonna show you the food I eat to keep myself accountable. You can do the same thing. Check in with me. Check out the Sydney Squad. That's literally all we do in there is check in. Hold each other accountable. Learn how to eat what you need to eat, okay? There's a big difference in eating healthy and eating what you need to individually eat, okay? You have to know. So check that Sydney Squad out, the Summertime Find Challenge. Today can be your day one. If you accept the mission, comment mission, nutrition. And before you head out, like this video and of course subscribe to the channel. Help us keep growing and turn on your bell notifications right over there so I can alert you next time I post a workout for you. I will see you tomorrow.